Tiffany Derry here. I am partnering with HEB, and we are bringing our Roots Chicken Shacks to the Austin Mueller location. And I wanna share with you our most popular recipe at Roots Chicken Shack. It is the spicy bird. It is something of a beauty, and I can't wait to make it for you. chicken itself is a, is a staple that you find in most southern households. And I think that the fried chicken sandwich is starting to slowly come up into everyone's palate of what they want to eat often. So when I think about a chicken sandwich, I think about explosive flavors. You know, if you're going to have a spicy chicken sandwich, it should just bursting your mouth with flavor. And that's what we're having here with this spicy bird. The spicy bird is special because of the chicken that we use. We season it with our house-made Creole seasoning. It has tons of chili powder, paprika, cayenne, um, just cumin, celery. It's so much flavor in one bite. But we don't stop there. We layer on the flavors with the pepper jack cheese, the lettuce mixture that has the mustard greens fresh and romaine and kale, then the pickled spicy peppers that are on top of that, and kimchi mayo. I know, sounds different and crazy, but it's a little bit of a spice, a little touch of sweetness, and it just ties the whole sandwich together. So I've taken some chicken thigh, and that's the other thing that makes this sandwich special. Most people think they love chicken breast. And I did a study. We did how many people love chicken breast and how many people love chicken thighs. 95% said they love chicken breast on their sandwiches. Then we took the same people and we made our chicken sandwich with the thigh meat and a breast meat. And you know what? 99% said that the thigh was way better, which is what I think anyway. Um, and it just holds in a lot more flavor. It gets much crispier. Um, it's more forgiving, meaning that if you slightly overcook it, it's gonna still stay juicy, and it just has better flavor. So we have our meat that has been seasoned with our Creole seasoning. We're gonna add in some buttermilk. I mean, buttermilk and chicken. Duh, like that's, that's what you do. So I'm going to just toss it in that buttermilk and you can let it sit for a little bit as well, but it's not necessary because there's so much flavor um, in this chicken and those same seasonings are also inside of our flour. So tossing that in that and then we just wanna really get that um, into every crevice of the chicken. At the restaurant, we put on gloves and we would um, really get in here and make sure that every piece of this chicken has flour on it. So the, our restaurant, Roots Chicken Shack, was really founded on duck fat. And the reason that I used it is because I remember the very first trip I did to France and we had duck fat fries. And oh my gosh, they were the best French fries I ever had. So I said, hmm, if made the fries better, then the duck fat would definitely make fried chicken better. And then the marriage was done and everyone loved it and it was like, okay, yeah, that works. That works really well. <laughs> so let's go ahead and put our fried chicken um, and get it going inside of our fryer. Okay, so I have our chicken that's seasoned with a little bit of buttermilk and some flour. We're going to carefully put it inside side of our saute pan on medium heat and I have enough room for two pieces. We do not want to crowd the pan. That's important when we're frying. So we're going to allow this to fry to a golden brown. Also, it's going to reach 165 degrees. That's what we're looking for internally. Um, I'm going to flip the chicken in about three minutes and that way it'll have time to get the other side nice and crispy. If you also have a electric fryer or something you, you prefer to fry in, feel free to do that. Most of the time I fry outside, so keeps to be uh, keeping it fresh, keeps it hot, um, and I don't have to worry about the temperature changing when you have an electric fryer. Okay, so now the chicken is nice and golden, getting crispy. It is partially cooked now. And usually when you flip, your second side always cooks a little bit shorter than your first time. So we're almost there. 
so looks like our chicken is completely done. It's cooked to a 165. And I'm gonna put it on with a little bit of a paper towel underneath to make sure that I drain off any of that fat. While your chicken is cooking, you can make the spicy mayo, which is our kimchi mayo, or you can just make it like I'm gonna do it all together. I'm going to put my chicken um, on a board with bread. So at the restaurant, we use sweet potato buns, but feel free to use whatever bread you have on hand. I'm just going to get my chicken here with the cheese. So at home, you could melt your cheese this way, and I'll show you how we melt it um, at the restaurant in a few. So I'm just gonna pop this in the oven, get my buns nice and toasty, make my spicy mayo all at the same time. So next we're gonna make our kimchi mayo. And really the mayo is really what ties this whole dish together. So you're gonna have a good bit of spice coming through um, in the sauce. And that's really where you get the spice from. So our sandwich, the chicken itself is not spicy, nor is our original bird. So we have two sandwiches, original bird and our spicy bird. Both are the same exact meat. The difference is all the flavors that you get with the sandwich. So here we're gonna do a little bit of our mayo, a little bit of the kimchi base. And that's gonna, it's just more of a concentrated flavor. Those who know what kimchi is, kimchi is usually fermented. Um, vegetables like cabbage um, is most traditional, but um, there's so many different things you can actually create kimchi out of. Mustard greens, carrots, turnips, any kind of vegetable really works really great. So here, I'm just gonna mix in my kimchi with mayo, a little bit of lemon juice, just give it a twirl. Just release all of that juice. Good little squeeze of lemon in here. And then a touch of salt. And that's it, that's how we make our kimchi mayo. And that's done. I'm giving you all the secrets today. So make sure that when you're at home, you know, you really wanna perk up your sandwiches or add some extra flavor, this kimchi mayo is the way to go. It also goes great with fried potatoes, but you didn't hear that from me. <laughs> okay, our sandwich should be about ready. Our bread's in the oven toasting. Um, and I'm gonna show you how to finish this on up. Mm. So, here we go. At the restaurant, one of the things we use is a torch. Um, this is a residential style torch, but we also have commercial. And at the restaurant, we actually just melt the cheese for you and right in front of you with a big fire. But I figured I might as well just show you how to do it at home just in case you don't have a torch. You can just do it in the oven. Mmm, finishing it up, melty, melty cheese. Once your cheese is melted, now we're gonna add on some flavors and build our sandwich. So we have our spicy mayo and we're just gonna put that on both sides and you can really let folks have it here, or if you're not big on super spicy, you know, just put a nice layer. If someone says, I don't know how I like spice, then just give them a little bit. Okay, next goes on our chicken. And I just want you to notice the size difference between the chicken and the bun. This is important. <laughs> we want more chicken here, all right. So we then add on our spicy peppers, which has um, all types of spicy pickled peppers along with carrots and some celery. It's preserved in oil and herbs. Next goes on our tomato, big slice of tomato. Onion, or if you're from where I'm from, they say onion. <laughs> some pickles. And just stack those right on up. And you cannot forget about the mix that we do, which has the mustard greens, the kale, 
and the romaine. So at the restaurant, we simply just take it, cup it in our hand, and then add that right on top. And that, my friends, is our spicy bird sandwich at Roots Chicken Shack. This is how you make it at home, but if you don't feel like making it, come on over to Roots Chicken Shack, H-E-B Mueller, or you can get it delivered through Favor. Enjoy, y'all.